Hi, and welcome to another tech tip video on ANSYS Mechanical. In this video, I'm going to be talking about bolt pretensioning and threads. Can we do a stress analysis on the threads? ANSYS actually gives us the ability to do so in the connection group. So first I'm going to show you my assembly fully assembled without a plate missing. I want to show you some stress results. On the left side, I have a, a bonded contact between the nut and the shank. On the right side, I have a frictional contact that allows me to do a thread analysis. Let's do a section view and let's take a look at some stress results. You can see on the right side, the stress results for the model threads looks quite different. You can see some stress concentrations on the pitches of the threads. So how did I do this? Well, over in the connections group, I'm gonna go over to where the nut and the shank may contact with one another. I'm gonna change that to frictional and you're gonna to wanna to apply a friction coefficient. Here I have 0.3. I'm gonna scroll down and where it says contact geometry correction, I'm gonna change that to a bolt thread. So for this bolt, I have a half inch 13 thread bolt. So I applied the mean pitch diameter, the pitch and distance and the thread angle for this UNC bolt. And after that, I can solve my results. And let's take a look at results of the surface of the, of the shank itself. Rather, I'm gonna say it's, it's modeled like a shank, but it's really, you know, threads now. And you can see the stress results are quite different. You can see uh, that it starts to get higher stresses closer to the first uh, thread that makes contact with, uh, with, our, with our bolt here from the nut. You can even use a contact tool to check the pressures on, on the contacts. And you can see that it follows uh, a stress distribution that would be on some threads, which is pretty nice. So what are the pros and cons? Well, I have to turn one of my contacts into a nonlinear contact, uh, that being the frictional contact. And that actually drastically increases computation time. So you want to you might want to ask yourself, you know, why do I care about the threads? Um, it might be in a situation where I'm designing a jack screw, or it's a power screw, and it's actually the loads on the threads are going to be pretty high, and they're important for me to observe because it's dynamic and it's also holding a structure together. But in the case where I have a an assembly with some bolts and threads uh, and and a nut and I have some Loctite on there maybe I don't care about that maybe I just care more about my assembly itself maybe I could just do a hand calculation and get away with it and, and get the stress results for uh, my threads so it's a nice feature to have but you gotta you, you know it's gonna inc dramatically increase computation time you just gotta ask yourself why do I care why do I need the results on the threads? Is it a point of failure that I'm, I, um, I'm expecting? If not, then let's just disregard it altogether.